In a card intubate, card oxygenate scenario, even if it's not possible to palpate any recognizable airway anatomy, the anesthetist should initially undertake a cannula cricothyroidotomy or cannula tracheotomy to achieve safe and fast oxygenation of the patient. The syringe is held by the dominant hand while the non-dominant hand stabilizes and fixates the trocar. In this situation, a vertical approach is required to maximize the chance of reaching the airway which may be deep in the soft tissue. A systematic approach is required starting at the midline and consisting of no more than three attempts or maximum time of one minute. After the initial midline approach, the second and third attempt should be on either side of the midline. Once air aspiration has been achieved, the angle of the trocar may be decreased if required and the trocar stabilized by the dominant hand. The non-dominant hand then advances the cannula into the airway. Once the cannula has been inserted, a check aspiration has to be performed to confirm correct placement of the cannula. If it is not possible to palpate airway anatomy, a too shallow angle of insertion of the cannula can result in failure to reach the airway and failure of the cannula technique. After a failed cannula insertion attempt, the assembly of trocar and cannula should be removed while holding the cannula hub onto the trocar. Failure to do so may cause dislodgement of the cannula from the trocar and false positive air aspiration. After the initial midline cannula insertion attempt, the second and third attempt should be on either side of the midline. The needle insertions on either side of the midline should be in a perpendicular fashion trying to cannulate a truly displaced airway and should not be directed towards midline. Nor should a cannulation attempt be made more cranial or caudal of the initial attempt location.